Woogity woogity. Give me some woogity woogity. That's right, it's time to give some woogity to you, Outer Banks' biggest fan. Welcome, Traveler! Season 3 was full of joys and adventures, as well as tears and pain. But on the set, everything was just like always. The cast had the time of their lives. Never see nobody move the way she did when she did. She does it, she do it again when... It's pretty hard to pick a favorite among these guys. JJ's fans, for example, think he's the most adventurous and hilarious character. Rudy Pankow portrayed him perfectly, although he had his blunders on the set. Talk about home security. Those spikes to people. Those spikes. Bad. It's God. No one is perfect, right? Where am I In fact, the JJ actor is so not perfect that he once injured his co-star on the set. I was holding up this window to the plane, and it was. You said go. <laughs> you said go. That didn't end well. And I get get out, and the window comes and smacks this poor gent in the head so hard. Chase even got a concussion after that. But it didn't stop him or us from loving the guy, right? Turns out that there's a reason behind Pang Cow's success as JJ. Just look at how the cast responded to the question, who is the most like their character in real life? One, One two, three, Rudy! That's right, he's actually very similar to JJ. And this season, fans fell in love with him even more because he finally opened up his heart, and he and Kiara are now a couple. That was just the moment, you know? <laughs> Drop a comment below if their first kiss and I love yous were the best moment of the season for you. And meanwhile, let's find out what else was happening on the set. We have a really good time. Um, <laughs> got to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Since all the cast members are such good friends, it was pretty hard for them to film fight scenes, but at the same time, rehearsing them was a lot of fun. Chopper goes down, jumps on him. Let him get five good whacks yeah. in on him. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and then Marlon comes five. And Don't you just love the way Madeline Klein is running around in this one? Speaking of the Sarah actress, most cast members say that she likes to play pranks on the set. You are a prankster. <laughs> I do. You are for sure a prankster. <laughs> You're always You're... messing with people. And Madeline herself doesn't deny this fact. I've been known to, <laughs> to play a prank or two, or like to pull some, pull some legs. But that's not her only sin. Have been known to uh, steal. If you're surprised now, wait until you find out exactly what she stole. It was a keychain and a bottle of tequila she found somewhere on the set. And the reason why she took it? It's expensive. <laughs> well, that's a pretty understandable excuse. I mean, why would you let a bottle of good tequila go to waste, right? If Madeline didn't steal it, she'd probably be pretty sad. Okay. No, oh, no. We're just kidding. Because with this group of friends, she absolutely had no reason to be down. It turns out that it's not only the Outer Banks characters who have adventures, the actors also had a few behind the scenes. From dangerous forces of nature. <laughs> to unknown creepy creatures. Oh, uh, it's poisonous now. He's coming to me. What's up, buddy? Hey, friend. And to the hungry beasts lurking around the set. Here you go. I got more. Oh, I dropped it. There you go. Those furry guys were pretty sweet, to be honest. But hey, the cast wasn't just goofing around. They were working. Yet even then, they managed to have fun and break character in the most hilarious way possible. You know what? I don't know my line. Sometimes they had a real problem uttering their lines, like Jonathan Davis here. I'll search the northeast quadrant, you search the northwest quadrant. <laughs> Let's try again. Right, so I'll search the northwest. Damn it! You can do it, JD. I'll search. <laughs> Shut up! Sometimes you just have one of those days. And Chase Stokes has a useful tip about how to handle such things. I would say uh, maybe read the scripts. If <laughs> Thank you, man. You're a genius. But who has the time to read the script when there is so much fun to be had? Do not jump. Don't do it. What? No. Oh my God, I think he's gone. Thank God he's still with us. By the way, did you know that there's a new bromance that blossomed on the set of Outer Banks? We're talking about JD and Austin North, who became best friends. We have one too many inside jokes. 
Among other things they have in common, they evidently share a similar sense of humor. The hardest laugh I've ever had in my life is with Austin. Well, we can understand that, because this guy is really funny. I got cast as cast in the cast of Outer Cast. <laughs> but there was at least one challenge he faced behind the scenes. Don't. 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 This is just the hardest part about the job. <laughs> he looks so beautiful though. Yeah, he does. And did you know that Austin is great at playing the drums? He and JD once performed on stage in a club, and the topper actor gave the audience the best drum solo ever. On another day, Austin and JD decided to play basketball, but the attempt failed miserably. They quickly ducked the hell out of there before someone caught them. In fact, it's almost impossible to list all the things the cast did behind the scenes of Outer Banks. But we'll try. Are you ready? They danced together partied all night long, showed some of their best moves, and sang along to their favorite music. Sometimes in a weird way. Sunshine and ravioli. Macaroni. One evening, the actors reimagined themselves as Star Wars characters. They took boat rides. <coughs> Madeline even found a new way to use a skateboard. <laughs> okay. They rolled on the floor laughing while playing games together. <laughs> <Don't win. laughs> yeah! <laughs> they got so close that even their actions became perfectly coordinated. And the cast would constantly look for new ways to entertain themselves. Once, for example, the Outer Banks guys read a bar menu as if it was a spell. Sparkling margarita, old fashioned, dark and stormy, signature rum punch, classic Cosmo, bacon vodka Bloody Mary. I wonder if a cocktail magically appeared in front of them after that one. And even crew members who remained behind the camera also joined in the fun once in a while. Yeah. Hopefully this dose of Outer Banks was enough for you today. All right, yeah, all right. See you later. If you want to learn more about the Outer Banks cast, watch our video about their real-life partners.